All right. We have the shooting plane. Now it says to make an adjustment for this. What we're supposed to do is just take a small piece of paper, any piece, Let me bring you in for this one. All right. This track, let me get you down here a little more. This track here needs to be adjusted to put a little pressure on this so we're not rocking in here. So to do that, Lee Valley is suggesting that what we do is slide that track over but we're supposed to put a piece of paper in here between the shooting plane on this side and that track so that's all we need and just hold that tight for that reason Tighten that one down, slide this one back, put that paper in there again, okay, and tighten this side down. Well, by pulling that out, there's no more. No more wobble, but we can take out even if we have to take some of that wobble out by setting his set screws too. I can find the slot. So if you feel, I think that's a little too much. We can loosen that up just a hair. It's just a hair too tight, I think. Right there. It's got drag on it. You want to have a little bit of drag. No, it's a little bit looser back here, but when you get in there, bam. It slides pretty nice. One finger pull, one finger. And there's no none there's no wobble in there well it's right on and then this handle has got a lock you can find the the lock there's a lock you pull back and then it moves push forward and it locks in where you want so now we're going to lock this down give it a little snug and then take these fittings, just snug them up so they don't come out. Yeah. Beautiful. I think that's going to work just fine. So, I think that's it. Mm. All right, so the shooting board is made. So I do want to do some other videos I want to add to the shooting board. I want to be able to do different angles, 45s, 30s, 60s, 22 and a half. So I want to make attachments to go to this board. So those are going to be all upcoming videos, the attachments for the shooting board. The shooting board is done. Let's just do a quick review out of it this board is 24 by 24 the fence is a three ply 11 ply plywoods 
That fence is total was three and a half inches. My total height is three. My length, 20 and 3 eighths. The cleat on the bottom is 18 and a half inches, two inches high, and it's two inches deep. The top surface board, 20 and 3 eighths by 22. The track is a 24 inch track from Lee Valley. It measures 3 and 5 eighths wide. Then what we had to do is we started with the track. We put the track in, we squared up the fence. The fence is square with the track. Then we filled this in. The main thing is to cut your bottom board square and you shouldn't have any problems if you follow off your edges. And that's what we did. We put it in, we squared up off the edge here to make sure everything was flush. That's it. That's putting the shooting board together. Alright guys, hopefully I got some other uh, plans too. I need to redo this wall. You see where I got the board? All that's coming down. That entire board is coming down. That whole wall is going to be my pipe clamp, uh, F clamp styles, and the start of my cabinet master clamps. I need to make clamp hangers. All these clamps kind of get hung up. So, we have a clamp video uh, making holders for them. I want to make a French cleat system. I want to hang it, I want to make the things, uh, the clamp holders, and I want to be able to just hang them anywhere I can fit them in and make it nice, compact, tight. So that'll be another video. I, I got a lot of videos, a lot of things in my mind. It's just time. And hopefully I can start putting out uh, a video every week or every week and a half, something like that. So, all right guys, Jeff from Wisconsin. You be safe, make lots of sawdust, a tree's work is never done. Take care and until the next video, lots of sawdust.